Greetings and salutations, I am Skojo in 360 Welcome to yet another edition of Premiere Pro for Beginners. Although this one is almost gonna take you up a notch out of beginners. By the time you get done with this, I'm gonna have taught you something that will bring your videos to a whole nother level. So, let's get right to it. The question for the moment is why should I shoot in 4K, especially when most of your deliverables are going to be 1080? Facebook, YouTube, even the stuff that I send to my clients are generally in 1080, which is considered HD. 4K goes well beyond that. So why should you shoot in 4K? First, let's address the simple question why you shouldn't shoot in 4K. 4K is a substantially larger file size, so if you're out in the field and you're shooting and you don't have all that much drive space, that's when you're gonna to wanna to shoot with 1080. But other than that, you should always default to 4K. Why? Let's break it down. 4K has significantly better resolution and it gives you some options that you may not have thought about. So let's go to Premiere Pro and I can show you how this works. First of all, we're gonna get you started with building a sequence. We're gonna start the sequence in 1080, but everything you're seeing is gonna be shot in 4K. So that's gonna bring up a little bit of a problem. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start new sequence. Now I have this defaulted to a 1080 30 frames per second, which is generally what a lot of people are using, especially for television these days. I'm gonna name this, oh, Y 4K, enter. Okay, so now we have a 1080 sequence, but I've got some footage that I shot earlier in 4K where I'm talking to the camera so that I can give you some examples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that into my timeline, but remember, this is a 4K shot footage and I'm dropping it into a 1080 sequence. So what happens? Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Right now what has happened is that Premiere Pro has detected that it's 4K footage, but I've got it set for 1080. Well, I still want it to be in 1080, but there's another problem that will come up if I hit keep existing settings. Look at this. Look how close that is. That wasn't shot that close. So what do I do? I go down to the clip and then I right click and I go to set to frame size. Boom. Hey, now we're off and running. We've got the 4K now downsized to 1080, but now you've got all that resolution to play with. And what are the cool things you can do with it? Well, let's take a look at the first one, which is being able to zoom in. Now that you have all this extra resolution, you can zoom in without degrading your image and it can add for some very interesting effects. Take a look. I'm Skojo in 360 and I'm here to show you why you should shoot in 4K. Why? Because it opens up all kinds of possibilities like you can get more dramatic by getting in really close. The other thing you can do with it is add artificial motion to your shot so it makes it look more cinematic. Take a look. Or you can add a nice smooth motion that makes things look so cinematic. So let's take a look at how I made that first one. Here's the raw footage. I'm Skojo in 360 and I'm here to show you why you should shoot in 4K. Why? Because it opens up all kinds of possibilities. Like you can get more dramatic by getting in really close. Or you can... Okay, so that's the first one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate that piece right there. Move it over. Zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to now use the zoom in feature to make things a bit more dramatic. We gotta find a spot where I want the drama to unfold. So here we go again. I'm Skojo in 360 and I'm here to show you why you should shoot in 4K. Why? Because it opens up all kinds of possibilities. Like, like right there is where I wanna zoom in. So I'm gonna hit C, which is for cut. I'm gonna cut those two. Then I'm gonna highlight the video clip, go up to effects controls, and now you see you've got position and scale in the motion section. What I'm gonna do is zoom in, because it's right now at 50% because it was a 4K scaled down to 1080, and zoom in. Whoa, dude. <laughs> let's, see, let's see how that looks. Ready, here we go. I'm Skojo in 360 and I'm here to show you why you should shoot in 4K. Why? Because it opens up all kinds of possibilities like you can get more dramatic by getting in really close. Hello, you just upgraded your video content by a lot just by shooting in 4K. It makes it look like you've got several different cameras. So there's reason number one to use it. Now let's go on to the whole dramatic movement thing. Here's the clip where I added the, basically the dolly shot or the motion to my shot. Or you can add a nice smooth motion that make things look so cinematic. How did I do that? 
little bit more intricate, but still not that hard. So let's go ahead and go into the shot where, right where it begins. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. Click on the video, go up to position and scale, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, now I have all that frame that you can't see to play with, so now I can slide things over like this, like that. I think I'll go ahead and slide it over to about here. Now you wanna set up a keyframe by hitting basically position and scale, and then roll to the end of the shot where you want the motion to end. Or you can add a nice smooth motion that make things look so cinematic. Okay, that's where we are now. Let's move that over. Let's add some motion so it looks like, eh, let's just go like there. All right, now let's take another look. Or you can add a nice smooth motion that make things look so cinematic. Hello, two things that are gonna dramatically increase the potency of your videos just by shooting in 4K. So to recap, that is, you're going to be able to zoom in or make it look like a multi-camera effect if you shoot in 4K and downsize to 1080. Also, you can add artificial motion that makes things look a lot more cinematic. So now, boom, you are off to the races. You're welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners. God, it's just, it's getting to be so much fun because I'm seeing my numbers increase. I'm getting a lot of great comments. If you have suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer all of them. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're really super cool and you want to be my best friend, hit that little bell on the side. Ah. Mm and you will get an update every time I post new content. Thank you so much to everybody for being here. Be kind to one another, love one another, and drink lots of cold beer only if you're over 21. I am out of here.